I hope that you are having a wonderful Women's Day and that you are feeling celebrated wherever you are. Now, we've all heard the saying, started at the bottom, now we're here. And our next guest is literally the epitome of that saying. Her journey to the top has been one of the most endearing and inspiring journeys that we've heard of in a long time. Almost 25 years ago, she started as a trainee manager at McDonald's in Cape Town. 12 years later, she became the first black female director for McDonald's South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a closer look at the Chief Operations Officer for McDonald's South Africa, Joanne DeVette. I was born in Heidelberg in the Western Cape on the 9th of August 1971, which is today referred to as Women's Day. I then at a very young age had to relocate to Cape Town where I was reared by my aunt and uncle who stepped in as my legal guardians. In 1995, prior to McDonald's opening in South Africa, my husband Denver decided to submit my CV for a position as a trainee manager within McDonald's South Africa. I was selected as a trainee in October 95, and three months later, I had to depart for the UK on an accelerated operations training program for six months. Part of my role requires me to actually visit restaurants and do restaurant tours. But once I'm in the restaurant, I'm reminded where my journey with McDonald's started 24 years ago. Mopping floors to actually working in the grill area, and I've got some scars to show. But that's what hard work's all about. In the early 2000s, I had the opportunity to accelerate my career or expand my family. And I made a decision with the support of my husband, Denver, and with the support of many sponsors within McDonald's to do both. Today, I share four beautiful sons with my husband, Denver, but at the same time, I'm the Chief Operations Officer of McDonald's South Africa. Now, connect with us online if you've got any questions for Joanne. Remember to use the hashtag Afternoon Express. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. I remember when I met you, you took me on a tour around the McDonald's, and you just had such an amazing story, and I think it's, it's a story that I think a lot of women need to and would love to hear as well. So thank you for sharing this inspiration with us today. So 25 years ago, you started at McDonald's as a trainee. What, how did your journey start, and what was it like? I think initially, obviously, as I mentioned in the video, Denver submitted an application, yeah. and the only time I found out um, about that application is once I was invited for the interview. Yeah. So it was a bit sneaky, and you know, in the early 90s. Um, joined McDonald's as a trainee, opened one of the first restaurants in the Western Cape, Tiger Manor, yeah. uh, to be, uh, opposite to Tiger Valley, um, in November 95. On the 1st of January 1996, I had to leave for the UK. I left Denver behind with um, our then six-month-old baby boy, Brent, yeah. um, in the safe hands of dad <laughs> yeah. and mother-in-law and father-in-law, yeah. who played um, a significant role in terms of just giving me that necessary support yeah. so that I could actually focus on my career. Yeah. I returned to South Africa mid-96, opened a significant amount of restaurants um, for many of the franchisees, some of them still franchisees Amazing. in McDonald's, South Africa. And it's quite ironic that I get to lead them and support them as a business partner in my current role. Yeah. Worked in different roles in operations. And the irony is I declared that I'd want to be in this position in the early just early 2000s. So was it in your grasp? Did you have that vision? Because you literally started like at the bottom and we'll just say, but you obviously went in with intent, with that growth. I mean, how did, how did you grow so quickly? I think the first thing that probably um, assisted my growth is, is the fact that I did not have to worry about my son. I did not have to yeah. worry about anything related to family and running the household. Yeah. Denver stepped in, um, you know, quite solidly in that area. I also watched some of the role models in McDonald's and there was there's a woman that stood out for me. She was the director of operations, Janet yeah. Hayes Brown, married, four sons. Really? And I looked at Janet and I looked at the, the you know, the, the work ethic and the passion for the brand and I could yeah. see myself in her. So that was probably the first time I thought that that possibility may exist. Mm. What was ironic for me is, is that at the time, I didn't realize that the position in which I was in and the different career moves that I'd still have to pursue in order to realize that dream was quite steep and yeah. it required a significant amount of hard work. Yeah. But it didn't scare me. 
because you, sometimes the gift of just being naive allows you to dream big. Yeah. And then what did, how did it feel to you when you were made a director? I think it was surreal. I was yeah. so busy focusing on getting it right, doing it well. I was never focused on the actual promotions when it happened. So it came through as a surprise. Um, you know, I, just, I was just called in and told, yeah. you know what? You're being promoted. This is your role. Oh. Um, and being a bit emotional, I, you know, and I'm not shy to express emotion, um, a, a tearful celebration. Yeah, I'm sure. That is so, and, and very, very well deserved. <laughs> so we're going to hear what South Africa has to say because, of course, we've uh, put the question out on social media for wh what they want to ask you. So, Pali, what is South Africa saying? Absolutely, Jeannie. So we've asked you on our social media platforms if you've got any questions that you'd love to ask Joanne. And we've got Chad with Dustin here who says, congratulations, what kept you driving? Joanne? Two things. I think the first thing that kept me driving is, is that we need more role models in society. Yeah. We need more role models Great that reflect answer. who people are in the societies mm -hmm. from which we come. So that was the, worst, the, the first thing that kept me growing. The second thing is resilience. And the resilience that can come from both sponsorship and support within the workplace, but also having a solid foundation and family that could support me and assist me as yeah. well. Mm. Next Be question. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful answer from such an inspirational woman. We've got one more for you from Tando D. Lamini, who says, Happy Women's Day, Joanne. Happy Women's Day to you too, Tando. And she continues to say, as women, it becomes so hard to even try and make your profession be great because we still live in such a stereotypical world. Getting a profession is easy, but getting work and making an impact is quite hard. What are the pros and cons in finding your feet in such a huge franchise as McDonald's? I think the pros for me was obviously that ultimate success, achieving that dream. Um, also, the ability to impact lives. Mm. And you can't impact lives if you are not in a position of decision making. Mm. So for me, one of the things that propelled me was the fact that every opportunity I had mm. to move up a position and bring along men and women, men and women alike along my journey, um, that for me had the most um, impact for me. Yeah. The cons, mm -hmm. long hours, hard work there was no direct message i call it the dm or the whatsapp to the top um, <laughs> you actually had to work hard very long hours i can still recall the days when denver had to sit outside of a restaurant at 4 a.m in the morning waiting for me to leave wow. so those were some of the and still i think some days that can be equally challenging because it's not easy so i'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy there's times where i'm out of the country for two weeks yeah. and he's having to get on with it yeah Thank you very much. We're going to have you on the couch a little bit later as well for more questions.